Hey guys, so we're out of the Ghost Hotel right now. So I'm out and about trying to go to as many of the spots that I had marked down before I leave uh, Seoul actually. So I'm gonna try to go to as many of these locations today. It'll probably be about three or four locations. Our first location though is this cafe up top on the second floor. But you'll have to enter through the side building. So we're actually in a meerkat cafe right now, so they have a lot of animals here, like meerkats. I saw a wallaby here. Uh, I think there's like some type of fox or a ferret here as well. When you go in, you're going to have to take off your shoes and then switch it with the sandals. And then you're going to have to purchase a drink. So uh, the cheapest drink here is 7,000 won, but I wanted a uh, coconut drink. So that's uh, 2,000 won more. That's okay. It's like the service fee for coming in to play with the animals. So let's give you a tour of this cafe. So on the right is where we ordered our drinks right here and right here these are our two play pens for the meerkats okay let's run through rules for this cafe you get 10 minutes they're easily fried in so don't just grab them pick them up you don't raise your voices this definitely did happen they did climb on top of me um, for the most part they scratch but it doesn't hurt too much if you need help, ask for assistance. Six, don't abuse them. And then seven, they definitely dig into your pocket, so you kind of have to really empty everything out. I had my phone in my pocket, and they still try to grab my phone. And then, pretty much, that's it. Oh, and don't, don't step on them. That's probably pretty important. Here we have some little guys scurrying. actually one right on my shoulder. Oh. Recommend you guys if you're gonna come here wear some old clothes because they'll definitely like scratch and try nibble nibble at some of your clothes. <laughs> oh, this guy's a little wrestling. Oh, they have their fangs out now. Now they're in the cage fighting. It's like a UFC match. So they have two foxes in the corner. Oh, they're actually pretty big. That one's like smelling its own turd. I wonder what a raccoon feels like. Oh, it's super soft. Oh, they're trained. They're trained to eat. <laughs> oh, we're gonna feed him. They have two wallabies here at this cafe as well. If you don't know what a wallaby is, it's like a mini kangaroo. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, wallaby's super soft too. Now I don't have to go to Australia to see this. Oh. This cat's really pretty. It's like not your normal house cat either. Its ears are quite different. And also the fur. It's kind of like a species of like one of those big cats. <laughs> it's like, bye. I'm done with you. So that was a tour of the pet cafe here. Uh, for the most part, if you're noticing my background right here, it's actually snowing. Uh, I didn't bring any winter clothes and it doesn't actually feel cold at all right now. Um, I, I bet you though once it gets later towards uh, the evening it's going to be really cold uh, out here in Seoul. But hopefully it doesn't snow too much. Um, I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers that it's not snowing in Japan. <laughs> Otherwise uh, traveling and exploring might, might not be as fun. So I totally didn't expect to see the One Piece ship here right behind me. Um, I'm probably going to take a peek inside seeing how I could probably see this in Tokyo, but since I'm already here, let's go in. Okay. Whoa. 
Oh, maybe I'll eat chopper. Egg shaped chopper cake set. It's not Halloween anymore though, it's like snowing. So they have one piece souvenirs, gifts that you can buy, Legos, puzzles, t-shirt. So now we're heading towards the cafe zone. Oh, so these are all the food that they serve here. Design for the characters on the wall. So I got my chopper waffle that's filled with his cream. Maybe that phrasing is not the best. <laughs> so we're gonna take a bite into this. Mmm. This is actually really good. It's like a warm, warm waffle with an egg custard inside. It's really good. Mmm. So we're gonna head to our next spot. This was just a pit stop that I found along the way. So the next place that we're headed to is Taylor Coffee. So I'm pretty excited to go to this coffee shop because it's the highest rated coffee shop in Hongdae. So it's really close nearby, so let's go in. So here's the menu at Taylor Street Coffee. So what I ordered is flat white. So here's our flat white from Taylor Coffee. The drink already looks pretty cool. The design of it, the coffee dripping down, it's kind of like spikes. So the coffee that I got here is actually really good. Um, it's too hard to compare it to Cafe Giyok in Jongno. Uh, that coffee was like totally different. It's very sweet. It, it tasted more like beer for the consistency. This flat white is actually very good. I don't know about rating it a 4.7 out of 5, but I, I would give it a 4 though. Uh, I really enjoyed my coffee. So if I was ever back in Hongdae, I would probably come back here to get another cup of joe. But the coffee, the flat white that I had was very good. Um, the one that I picked, there's two options. One called Basic, Basic and the other one's called Purple Rain. So I found a sign right here, right outside. So what Purple Rain is, is a signature espresso blend. Floral, orange, vanilla, silky, well balanced. I definitely tasted some floral, uh, vanilla, and it was, it was actually really good. But I don't know about the orange part. But before it gets too dark, we're gonna head on to our next place. So the next place I wanna head to is Creamfield, which is actually a cupcake place. So before we head to our next cafe, I got distracted by light bulbs. Here's a Coke can. Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. And what is this? Com Contemporary Authors, Volume 10K. Interesting. And a smash phone, of course. We'll take a look inside. Oh, so the owner explained to me that it actually turns on when you touch it. It's cool. Okay, our next location is right up above me. We're heading to Creamfields Bakery. I heard they had some bomb cupcakes here. Okay, so we're inside Creamfield. So there's a cupcake bakery. So this place is very aesthetically pleasing when you come in. Here is our floral cupcake. So this cupcake is literally like a bouquet. Here's our meringue cookie. Mm. 
and then here's our cactus cookie. Okay, we're gonna try the meringue first. Like a, a really soft cotton candy, but it's in like a cookie form. This died. That one definitely tasted like cotton candy. It was pretty good. Next one we're having is our cactus. So this is more like a, just a cactus cookie. Well, the cactus definitely tastes like a lucky charm marshmallow. I'll try the cookie now. It's like really good together. It's like a shortbread butter cookie and then you have like a Lucky Charms marshmallow well, for the cactus. It's not bad. Okay, we'll dig into this now. So here's what the cross section looks like. And then here's our one forkful. Cupcake's good. It's not too sweet. And then you get a hint of flowers while you're eating it. One thing I have to say is, I'm definitely not a flower connoisseur. But besides that one purple flower that overwhelmed kind of everything, how I rate this place, it's definitely a wow in my book. So I would definitely come back here to get another cupcake and try some other flavors. Um, but for now, I actually need to get some dinner. So we're gonna grab some food. I don't know what we're gonna get but probably somewhere nearby. So while I was going to Creamsfield, I passed by a kimbap place that was selling like huge kimbap for only like 2,000, 3,000 won. So we're gonna head there and grab some. This is the kimbap place. All prices between 1,000 to 3,000 won. It's called the, well I looked it up. So it's called Yonghui Kimbap. So this is a really small shop and they serve a bunch of different kinds of kimbap here. But what I'm excited for is that they give you big servings here compared to the train station where they gave me a tiny serving for about 1,000 won. So this one is way bigger. So this is going to be my snack to go. Uh, I'm going to eat this later when I get back to the hotel, but we're actually going to head to a couple more places. Okay, so we're going to head into this random ice cream place. This one really has no name. It just has an ice cream cone on top of it. And the sign says handcraft ice cream, but we're going to go in. Unless this is the name, cold recipe handcraft ice cream. They actually have a lot of flavors here, but some of them are seasonal and it looks really good. So like, I would definitely want to try the grapefruit sorbet, the mojito sorbet, passion fruit one, jeju mandarin. One on the right side is probably pretty interesting. Like having black olive as a flavor, so we're gonna get Earl Grey, one of my favorite flavors. They also have packaged ice cream here that look pretty nice too. I like their packaging on their ice cream. It looks really nice. So here's my Earl Grey ice cream. We gotta take a bite into this. I think Earl Grey is probably one of my favorite flavors ever since I went to San Francisco and tried their ice cream. So I was excited to find this flavor. Mm. Like, this Earl Grey is actually better than the one that I had in San Francisco because when you take a little bite into this, or well, I take a bite into it, when you lick it and taste it, um, you actually get a strong, strong impact of Earl Grey and it's very fragrant, it like, goes through your nose and everything. It's really good. 
Okay, so this restaurant actually has two locations. It's called Danburu Imano. So the one by uh, Ihua was totally packed. I couldn't get in, there was a line. So I figured I'd walk all the way to Shinchan and go to the second location and there's no line here. So we're gonna go in and then grab some food. Okay, so this place is called Danburu Imano, Shin Shinchan branch. Oh. Menu. Let's see. Oh, there's pictures here. Perfect. Um, I came here basically for one dish. Right here. U UK. UK dan. So it's a bowl of raw meat. So like, uh, imagine steak tatar with an egg. So this restaurant is pretty much empty compared to the one near Ihua. But it's perfect because I can actually get a seat. So here we have is cabbage with probably like some yuzu sauce with sesame seeds. This is our small cup of miso. Sides. Pickled radish. That's not me down there. Here is kimchi. And then here's our yukedan. So basically, it's raw, raw beef, raw beef here with the egg, sesame seeds, and green onions. And there's a layer of rice. But here we have our utensils. Spoon, chopsticks, napkin, and then we'll. I think this one's for your side. Ooh. Joke is extra runny. really good so there's like a layer of sweet soy sauce under underneath the steak tatar and also the egg goes really well with it but this is not uh, regular UK because um, I believe regular UK only has like the meat and the egg but this is kind of like a fusion dish so they added rice and uh, sweet soy sauce under it but it's really good too but uh, for the most part, I remembered I had kimbap in my backpack. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel, eat the kimbap, and then pretty much turn in for the night. Okay guys, look at how long this thing is. I already ate two pieces so I can show you the cross section of what it looks like inside the kimbap. So here on the left is our spicy squid kimbap. Uh, it comes with pickled radish, cucumbers, carrots, mushrooms, uh, fake crab, and I think there's a piece of egg here. If that's not a piece of egg, then it might be a piece of fish cake. Um, this one has the exact same thing, except it has tuna instead. But for, for the most part, look how big this thing is. I mean, it's literally just, it's a simple meal that's very common in Korea, but the quantity that you get is so much. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and then on top of I ate one piece out of each so there were 11 pieces here this thing's freaking huge but man this kimbap is like so good like uh, for 6,000 won for these two rolls like for the price that you paid for it's definitely worth it but for now I'm just gonna finish this kimbap and we'll start another day in Seoul tomorrow bye guys